So in this video, I'd like to talk about how to reduce ping on Fortnite, um, stop lagging a little bit. So um, it, it actually depends on two situations. First one is Fortnite settings, and the second one is your computer, especially the system. So in order to run your game smoothly, you need to have a good computer and good system. Um, if you don't have, still you can make it a little bit fast. So first of all, I'm going to show you how you make your computer uh, better before playing Fortnite. I mean, probably the best performance I'm going to show you right now. My computer, as you can see, so um, before you play Fortnite, make sure no software is running. Nothing is running, not even a Google Chrome. Uh, because this Google right here, as you can see, it reduces your performance. Um, for example, this is my task manager. As you can see, the performance is taken by those five software which is running. So Google Chrome take 0.4%, uh, but it is a uh, big consequence when you're playing Fortnite uh, because a little bit of performance which helps you to not lagging and to reduce your ping. So um, make sure nothing is running on uh, and also check here, I'm sorry, check here and just quit as much as software possible. Like when I play a game, I quit everything except the recorder. Um, yeah, that's what I do. And I have very decent PC. Um, I can show you though. This is my PC, which is only eight gigabytes of RAM and it's pretty old, like I bought it 2015 and 512 gigs of her disk. So yeah, it's pretty decent. And my internet connection, as you can see, is not, not that good, but still I have kind of have better connection at this moment. Um, if, you're, if, you're, uh, if, you, if your computer have many games and many software and that you're thinking that it might be your internet connection problems uh, because you have lag. But if you have a new PC and have the same internet connection, you'll see that you have more smoothness on your new PC because, um, you know, new PC have nothing, All, no new software, no new games, and it runs smoothly. So the games which we would never play like it's better if you uh, uninstall the game and also the software but yeah so uh, you can do it that way and make sure your desktop is empty not empty I mean not much file because desktop is also part of your system so make your C drive not full like a little bit give give your C drive a lot of a space. So yes, that's what you can do. So, um, suppose some of my desktop files are actually not important. There's a lot of pictures here and you just can transfer to other drives. Um, Steam, this, 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 just, uh, just paste somewhere else. Um, Suppose I go to my, where I can do, I actually do this many times. So um, yeah, desktop files and sorry, you can paste it over here. Paste everything. So as you can see, I had a three gigabytes. I, I saw five, almost five gigabytes of space in desktop. So make sure your desktop is empty and try to keep refreshing, you know, keep refresh. So yeah, whatever. Um, and another thing you can do boost your PC is just uh, go to run. So press, uh, you, can, uh, you can just click here, type run and click it and press three and run it. It's just uh, make your RAM uh, work better uh, do you know what is cache memory? Cache memory is uh, make your computer a little bit faster. Uh, it's work 
with RAM. So, yeah, then uh, another thing you can do is uh, you delete temporary files. So you just percent st mp percent s again and delete whatever you have inside of us. I already do this, I already do that uh, like in the morning, maybe. So, yeah, you'll have much file than me. So just delete everything except which is not important. Just skip it. So, yeah. So that's how you can do this. Um, uh, another one is proof it, right? Yeah, those are just, those are just uh, some shortcuts, which is on your computer, delete those shortcuts because it's also take a lot of space on your computer. So yeah, so it's uh, pretty much it about in the, in, in the system. And next thing I'm gonna tell you in the Fortnite. So let's let's start Fortnite and I'm gonna tell you a best system to get a best ping without having any lags. So I'm not gonna tell much about what you're gonna do inside Fortnite because you already see other videos. Um, so if you have a very good PC like 1050 GDX, um, then you can, you know what to do. If you have a PC like mine, it's like very low quality. So you can maybe 60 FPS or, uh, it's actually by default. They know your computer is, so uh, it's all by default. Um, yeah, there's there's nothing you can do actually. So as you can see, it's like 58 now. I usually play North American West. Um, you can also make your brightness lower, and you can increase your brightness on your screen. So yeah, that's you. That's another way you can do this. Let's see, applying this. See. It looks same. Um, yeah. What I can do here. Or anyway, so it is the mostly matters is your PC. Make your PC run smooth. Then your PC will be, I mean, your game will be smooth. Uh, and also low ping as well so yeah that's basically it guys um, if this video helps you don't forget to like and also subscribe to my channel um, yeah thank you goodbye for today